Now let's turn our attention to enterprise print management. This whole aspect of installing printers, maintaining those printers, and controlling permissions on those printers is a fundamental yet burdensome aspect of network administration, especially in a large enterprise. Now, survey after survey continues to indicate that printer problems, printer issues are the number one reason for help desk calls. So, Windows Server 2012 provides a couple of tools for enterprise print management. The first one is the print services server role. Now, when we install that print services server role on a server, we are basically creating a print server at that point. That also installs, by default, the print management tool. And the print management tool is an MMC snap-in, and we'll talk about those later on in the course, depending on when you're watching this and which order you're watching it in. You may have already seen that, but we'll talk about the MMC in separate videos. Now, the print management tool becomes available in administrative tools once that print services server role has been installed. Now, what can be accomplished with this print management tool? Well, you can install printers, you can install individually, or to a group of client computers simultaneously. So that's pretty cool and very efficient. So you don't have to go one at a time, one at a time to install printers. You can do them to groups. You can also view and monitor all printers in your organization. You can look at things like print queues, determine which printers are under a heavy load, can't keep up. You can find printers with error conditions, those that are out of paper, out of toner, whatever else is going on. And you can even have the print management tool send you emails or execute scripts when a printer needs attention. So basically, you can manage all the printers in your organization very easily from this one tool. Now, let's talk about managing a remote print server. If I set up another Windows server and install the print server role, I have a print server out there. I can connect to it remotely and manage it. However, I have to have certain permissions to be able to do this. I must be a member of the print operators, server operators, or local administrator group on that remote print server. And these credentials are not required if I just want to monitor that remote print server However, a lot of the functionality is going to be disabled, and I'm probably going to want to take care of those permissions issues. Now, print servers, by the way, can be migrated. Watch for this on the exam. If I've got a print server set up, and I suddenly want to move all those printers to another server, I can easily do that to consolidate multiple print servers, replace older ones, move things around, and I can use the printer migration wizard or there's a print BRM command line tool. And what I'm going to do here to migrate is I'm actually going to export the printer settings off of a server that gets ports and all that, and then import them onto a new server. Then as an aside, you can couple print management with group policy, and printer connections can automatically be made available to users and computers. The print management can search for and install drivers that you may store out there on the network. So there's a lot of really cool things. Now, what I want to do here before I end this video is jump out into administrative tools and show you. I'll click on administrative tools down here. I tagged it onto my start bar. And notice that print management has been installed because I've already installed uh, that uh, print server role. Now, notice here for my print server, here I am right here. And if I click right here, I can see the printers that I have. Now, I can right click on this and go to properties and see things on my printer itself. And I'll close that. Uh, if I want to click on the server here and then click on action, notice I can export this to a file that'll kick off that printer migration wizard. I'll cancel that. I can add ports here. Notice that I can assign to printers later. And I can right click and add more ports or manage ports. So everything that I need to do to manage my printers all over my organization can be handled right here. This is a great functionality. Play with it a little bit before you go set this exam.